Hello spooky people, my name is Betty Bitchy Welcome to Webs and welcome back to the channel and also welcome back to the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. In our last episode, which was I think a little bit shorter, we started on our political campaign. We've sent Abramar away, we've sent um what the fuck? Not me forgetting my sister's name. We've sent Patrice away, and now it is time for us to just hop back in, see where we're, uh, see where we're at, and maybe make some new cards. You know, make some, make some new things. Kind of ace this political career. And I think, do we maybe potentially also have someone at the window? Not quite sure. We'll figure it out. And for that, we will just hop right in. I guess. Huh, no, no, we will not hop in. Content warnings. You will see them on the screen right now, or you can also see them down in the description box below. They will be the first thing down there. And with that, we can now finally hop into the game. Okay, dokie, and here we are. We do not have a friend, I guess. Let's take a little look, see what we've got going on over here. We do have uh, all of this currently going on. Compressa, no longer a danger for us because she, as we've foretold in our card reading session, she will just open up her own cult of the mask or whatever. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Um, then I also had a thought. We currently have 100 witches. Will that number change? Question mark throughout this race. I don't know. Pretty excited to find out about that. Then we've got um, this. I think this was only the the general reading, wasn't it? Okay, while we're down there, can I not give me? Yeah, we've got a lot of points. Maybe we should do a card as well. Um, we've read this. Yeah, no, sleeping, I think, would just uh, waste waste time that we could use for more important things. Let's create a card. Come on, get me down there. Hello. Thank you. A card. All right. <laughs> Look at this absolute monstrosity. <laughs> Let's create a card. Uh, we could also study some cards, I guess. Yeah, no, absolutely the fuck not. Um... Magical post office. What do we want to do? We've got a lot of water and also a lot of earth. Hmm. What would this card cost? Let me let me study this card. Okay. Oh, ancient eye of your former of our former leader. Allow me to pierce through the fabric of this magic. Let's see. Ah, emotion, intuition, substance, truth. Oh, slay. Let's take this one. Let's take this card. Yep. Okay. Seed of knowledge. All of these cards are a lot of air and I don't know why. I don't know why. We've got this. We've got the door. Oh no. What was what was the one that we just had? Like truth and stuff? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, How much would this cost? Two earth. Girl. Born from the imagination of mortals and extinct because of their greed. Dragons were known for keeping treasure and grudges. Uh, uh, what's this? Harvest Oracle. Beam that keeps three of every known seed in this universe. Witches can ask for any of these seeds under oath to restock them after they collect the fruit. Um, the Oracle will come harvest them. <laughs> What in the fuck? This is so much. Oh, and this costs so much as well. Oh, 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 oh. Your vow of silence. I'm not vibing with it. I'm not vibing with it. I'm kind of vibing with the Harvest Oracle. I love the Harvest Oracle. <laughs> it's very slay i believe and now if we would want to keep a very balanced card then i think we should go for fire now they bring fire and change asteroid kind of kind of slay the ruby candle lamp i think we already used that one it's kind of uh, don't want rage don't need rage well fire and change like fire uh, fire is also kind of rage isn't it the whip absolutely not got the 
the cloak, the pith cloak, the pith cloth, Jesus, weaved by Louise with intelki, harvested from mothers and their children. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> that is going to be one wild ass card. That is a freaky freaky. Come on, let me move it. Thank you. I like to move it, move it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as usual, I will now take a little bit of time to create the most banger card known to humans. And then I guess we'll see where that takes us. So enjoy my little speed card decorating segment. Alrighty, spooky people, and there we have it. This is our absolute uh, masterpiece. I am very happy with how this turned out, simply because I love how my little witch consuming <laughs> little, little guy is holding the capes, which I think absolutely delicious. The way I draped them, slay. And with that, let's hit finish and see how this turns out. Okay, what do we have here? Aquatic as Listen, I almost read Asylum, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the ever-boiling sea of tears grants access to the most profound emotions. Growing magic plants produces thoughts, not only fruits. The mother's pith cloth stimulates purpose and emotion. A flood of water can unleash hidden potentials. Meanings. Introspection, determination, rightfulness, communication, peace, support, success, and power. <laughs> that is one hell of a positive card. I'm a very happy and in the meantime... Oh, we've got so many things happening. Hello, Patrice. Patrice is home. And we've also got at least one. I think we've, we've got two visitors on our window at this hour of the day. Come on, what's going on here? Hey, what's this? <gasps> Yes, 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 yes. I think I will wait with those two and first talk with Patrice because Patrice, my bestie, I can already uh, like send away if I want to. Come on, get up there. 
Alrighty. Okay, Patrice, hit me with it. Reporting a look for allies or opportunities. Alright, that's what I've sent her out for. I think Abramar we've sent out for, for gossip? <laughs> As we should. Okay. I found someone that could help us, Fortuna. She'll pay you a visit. Her name is One, Witch of Entropy and Decay. <sighs> as far as I'm concerned, that sounds like she's about to be my bestie. <laughs> like you and Edana, she's one of the Oracle Witches in the Coven. She's able to read the entropy in any system, no matter whether it's a machine, a community, a building, an astral body, or even an idea. Damn, what the fuck? Basically, one can discern what actions will accelerate or prevent the decay of just about anything. Maybe she can help us find the weak spot in our opponent's strategies? That is... fucking sexy, dude. Okay, 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 what are we going to do? I... Thinking, thunking. Allies and opportunities. Challenge an opponent's program. Promote our program. Dig up dirt. I think digging up dirt, that's what Zabra Mars is doing right now. Um, I think, I think we'll send her out one more time for allies and opportunities. I think that's fun. Nice, I have some ideas in mind already. Okay, see you in a few cycles. Bye-bye, Patrice. Bye-bye. Uh, and that means we now have time to take a look at our two besties over here. Let's take a look at the Arbitrage office uh, for now. Dear Fortuna, I need to bring you up to date regarding an active conflict that may affect the current elections. Let me know when it's a good time for me to visit. Yours faithfully, Thea. Um, let's fucking go. We can talk to our bestie, the Peppermancer. After that, I'm feeling a very much like I want to do all of that in one in one go. <gasps> Your eye, bestie. Did you always only have one eye? <laughs> Is that a fortune that I read? <laughs> no, no, Thea, please. Hello again, Fortuna. Oh shit, what happened to you? Oh, so it is actually... Okay, so, okay. Uh, well, it's nothing serious, really. There are many ways of seeing beyond using our human eyes. But I sure hope this is the injury you foretold, and the mission doesn't cost me more than an eye. Oh, Thea, no! No, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Just the price of duty. No, Thea. Oh, no. What's this about an active conflict? Should we be worried? Well... There is an internal war going on with Coven of the Jade Sculptors. Oh. The conflict escalated quicker than we anticipated, and there have been many witch casualties in a matter of weeks. Oh, Jesus. So the Arbitrage Office had to intervene to minimize casualties and, above all, keep contained and make sure no other Coven takes part in this conflict. Okay, I see. First and foremost, we want to ask every Coven to refrain from engaging in combat, no matter what the Sculptors offer. Should you wish to offer assistance, keep it humanitarian. In fact, there is someone I would like to send your way. Your counsel has been very valuable to me and, by extension, to the Arbiter's office. Maybe you will be able to do the same for a group of refugees that had to leave the Jade Sculptors to save their skin. Does this mean we get some more witches on our side? <laughs> is this what I've been saying in the very beginning? <laughs> we need to bring some order into this chaos. Very well. I'll talk with my team and see what we can do. Depending on how you handle it, it may be an opportunity. No, we do not question the arbitrage office. We say thank you so much. Oh, no, no. Thank you. You'll be contributing to the restoration of peace. I'm giving notice to the office. They will tell Zira, the representative of the refugees, to make contact with you. Okay, I can't promise anything, though. You meet with her, no strings attached, and decide if there's something that your party can do to help. That I can do. Very well. That'll be all. Something to confess? <laughs> no way. Protocol. Protocol. But... Mm, I do have something to confess. Not to the Arbitrage office, but to you. We'll keep this out of the books. Oh. oh? Your predictions came true. I... I've fallen in love. Oh, Thea, bestie! That's fucking fantastic! But what about relationships being forbidden in the office? Well, we're keeping it secret. Oh, we'll see you. <laughs> Ooh, she's another arbiter, and we make sure we're assigned to the same missions? I mean, I've spent centuries diligently serving the arbiters. This forbidden adventure is making me feel so alive, Othea. I get that. <laughs> and I love her so much! <laughs> I'm so happy for you! Glad to see you're enjoying the forbiddenness of it all. Thea, bestie, 
both you and me we're into the forbidden we are enjoying the forbidden here <laughs> yeah i mean what a waste of immortality if you don't bend the rules am i right oh you are so right you bet if only you knew Thea. Anyway, if you don't hear from me again, it's because we've been caught and we eloped. <laughs> we have an emergency plan ready for the occasion. <laughs> Looks like you're looking forward to it even. Uh, maybe, maybe. Well, I wish you happiness one way or another. Thank you. Take care, Fortuna. And thank you for everything. You too. Uh, bye bye, Thea. I hope I see you at your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking a wild. Okay, and Abramar is also back, and now we've got two more. Get me over. Where is my my thing? Now if that ain't fucking Junraisha, the mathematician bitch. And then we've got the circle, and we've also got the peppermancer, and we've also got Abramar. Oh, so so many things, so exciting. Let's check out what Abramar has dug up. Some dirt, I believe. <laughs> Oh, I'm back from my spy mission. Abramar lay it on me. I found something a bit unquieting about Capre- Bitch, Capressa, shut the fuck up. Capressa has the perfect memory, storing all events, both cosmic and earthly. Inside her tree rings, knots, and branches. Okay. Well, apparently, during Adana's mandate, some developments had to be edited out of existence. Huh? And that included literally trimming some of Capressa's branches, destroying many years of rec records just to cover up Aidana's dealings. We haven't been able to discover what the incident was about, and Capressa is physically unable to recall it. But just revealing the fact that she probably colluded in the destruction of those records may be enough to spark some unrest among her followers. We could use it during a debate to throw her off her game. We'll see. Bitch the fuck? I would have loved if he would have dug up something on Dahlia and Jasmine, though. Hmm. You know what? I'm also gonna send him out for allies and opportunities because I want to see what he can dig up. Going to be exciting. I'll come to Cosmos and see what I can find. You do that, Abra Mar. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's talk to our bestie, the Peppermancer. Come on in, girl! Okay, my dear mentor Fortuna, is it okay to visit or are you too busy with the political campaign? I'm getting the hang of my powers now. Maybe there's a way for me to help you? Hux, Nova, the Peppermancer. Oh, bestie, come on over! <gasps> oh, look at her go! Hello! Hey, welcome back! How are you doing? Living my best witch life, as you should, no one else should, yeah? You bet. As you predicted, or maybe inspired by your prediction, I got super into growing magical peppers. Witch gardening is so much fun, especially if you can time skip and see a whole plant grow in a matter of minutes. Oh, some witches believe that time is a super important ingredient when growing stuff, and that a time skip hinders the qualities of the harvest. Oh, yeah? I'll research more about that then. But still, the Lust Reapers are spreading fu furor, <laughs> furor amidst our coven as we speak. How do you pronounce that in English? In German, it would be furor. <laughs> well, furor, I guess, amidst our coven as we speak. Okay. You got to them this fast? Oh, yeah, and they work wonders. Here, I brought you some. What am I supposed to do with that, Nova? <laughs> Wow, thank you! I'm not sure if I'll get to use them, but it's good to have some around, I guess. Even just by yourself, they make for the most intense sessions, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> um, let's change the subject. <laughs> How are you settling in? Well, I'm still trying to find my place. Magic, understanding the cosmos and all that. Well, that's a thing. But I can't help feeling lonely. How so? I don't know. I don't feel like I belong in this coven yet. I'd like to be part of a project or something. Oh, why don't you join my political campaign? <laughs> you see, that's actually why I'm here. You just tell me frankly if it'd be too much of a nuisance, but I'd like to join your party, please? I'll do anything, grabbing cosmic coffee or whatever the equivalent is in this case. I just want to help in any way I can. Oh, that's so nice of you. So, will you have me on board? Of course we'd be thrilled to have you, bitch! Of course! Thank you 
you so much for this opportunity, Fortuna. You won't regret it. I'm gonna do my best and then some. That's a good attitude. You're already in our headquarters, so find a comfortable spot and I'll come up with something for you to help us with. Understood. <gasps> oh my god, we have a more permanent bestie. What the fuck? That is so awesome. Why is my why does my mouse keep going over there? What's going on? Okay, Ms. Ma'am. Show me what you can do. Oh, challenge an opponent's program, promote our program. <gasps> if she promotes, she's she's a plant grower, besties. She is a plant grower. And if she could promote our program and grab more of the like plant, the plant girlies. Oh, if she could get some of the plant girlies on our side. You know what? Promote our program. Let's focus our efforts on this group. Oh, fuck. Uh, 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 what's her group? The producers? The producers? I guess. Warriors or Dahlia. We can completely forget about those. Oracles are already on my side. Academics. Don't really know. Don't remember. Uh, explorers also don't know. And the novices were pretty neutral, I think. So I'm guessing the producers. Oh, exciting. I'll go and spread a good word. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Uh, now let's see who we have here. Oh, it's one of them jade besties. So, so many things are happening. What the fuck? Okay. Um, let's talk to Junraisha. To the attention of Witch Fortuna. It's the moment of truth. Let's confirm whether our paths align or diverge. Faithfully, Junraisha. The mathematician bitch. I love her design though. Her design is so sick. She's giving mathematician mummy. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even read the full thing, but I already know she's gonna be a bitch again. Okay. So, you didn't only choose the wrong side, you went as far as to found your own party just to make the same mistake. Good day to you too! <laughs> I'm going to do everything in my power to stop you. Whoa, coming on strong. You came all this way just to declare war? Yes. <laughs> Tunraisha isn't playing around. Super! To begin with, you can forget about getting any votes from the academics. And then I'll start working on the other factions. I don't have any blackmail on her yet. And we reach... With this bitch, I don't think I want to reach a compromise. Do your worst, we're not afraid. You will be soon. See you in Congress. In... She, she literally just came here to threaten me? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I need to adjust my seating. This is getting stressful. Uh. Okay, Patrice. I have some worrisome report. Jasmine's party has been campaigning, warning our sisters about the dangers of the forbidden arts. Retelling catastrophic events of the past involving beh behemoths and time-bending spells. Many witches are reconsidering their stance on the forbidden arts policy. Oh, <laughs> we should let her scare tactic spiral. What the fuck? New blow from Jasmine's party. She must have struck some kind of deal or something, but suddenly a bunch of explorers are all about Jasmine. Should we try to counter this? What in the fuck was that? Okay, looking for Alice and opportunities. I found something interesting. I suddenly introduced the idea that she should pay you a visit. Her name is Range Marie. Is she a Range Rover? The cosmic poet. <laughs> She's not from the coven, but you've probably heard of her. I have not. She is all the rage throughout the witching universe, especially among the youngest witches. Oh, <gasps> the novices. Her words, especially her poems and songs, have a lot of impact on witch culture. As her universe's biggest influencer, uh, Range Marie will. How do you say that? Range Range Marie girl. She will definitely play a major role in shaping witch culture in the centuries to come. I thought she already sympathizes with our case, with our cause, sorry. So if we could get her to speak up, we could sweep a lot of votes. 
Oh, that is fantastic, bitch. <laughs> okay, Patrice is looking for, or was looking for allies and opportunities. I found someone that could help us, Fortuna. She'll pay you a visit. Her name is Menaka, head of explorers. <gasps> okay, that's not a real position in the coven. It's an honorific title she got from the rest of the explorers, which may be even more important than the official des designation. More often than not, Meneka roams the outer edges of the universe, mapping every star and planet. She even developed a shape-shifting aura that keeps track of any changes to any astral body that the coven has charted in real time. Jesus Christ. Just recently, Meneka came back to the coven because of the elections. If we can get her on our side, we can easily win the confidence of every explorer witch in the coven. Oh, Jesus bajeebus. I would like Patrice. Well, wait, let me write something down real quick. I just wrote down that Capressa has cut out some some part of history. And I think that we should send Patrice out to dig up some dirt on the opponents. Because she maybe has some more connections, question mark? Or should we send out Abramar for that and send out her to promote our program? Uh, let me go with a never mind again. The novice. Uh, hello? Okay, the novices. Oh, they're so on Jasmine's side. Jesus Christ. Producers as well. Warriors. Still Dahlia. Oh, but only 91%. Okay. Oracles. Still on my side. Academics. Oh, the academics. We're going to lose all fucking academics. Mm. But maybe now that we know that Generatia is pushing for the academics, maybe we should send out Patrice to promote our program to the academics. So that we can kind of counter Generatia's little bitch moves. And then we've got Abramar, and I would like Abramar to dig up dirt on some of our opponents because I'm hoping that he will find something about Jasmine because she currently is our number one opponent. Okay. Turning invisible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see what I can find. I'll be back. Okay, bye bye, Abramar. Bye bye. Okay, because then we can maybe dig up more dirt. So far, wait, I need to also write down that we've got Junraisha working against us for the academics, I guess. I drew academics in the little skull. I hope I remember what that means. And I also hope that I remember correctly that she's even choosing the, ac the academics because what the fuck? Okay, now who do we have here? We've got this absolute fucking baby. Yuinia! Fuck yes! Yeah. So we've got Zira, Jade Sculptor, and we've got whatever the fuck that is. Wait, how long have I. Uh, uh, where, 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 how long have I been recording? Oh, fuck! 44 minutes already? I need to see. Game saved six minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that saved. <laughs> Shit, I don't know if that saved. No, you know what? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more of these besties, and then after that interaction, it should save. So, one more bestie. Who do we pick? Who do we pick? I'm very enticed by this one. Very enticed by this one. And after that, we'll end the video. Okay, let's invite whoever the fuck that is. It's a literal sphere. <gasps> Oh, I love you already. Oh my fucking god, you look so sick. Welcome. One, I'm so sorry, but I cannot understand you. I do not know what you're saying. Gerbos, what the fuck? Um... You have so much to say, yet I still... Wait, I don't understand you. That's right, one. That's right. Gerbos, whatever the fuck it is that you're saying. Can we guess anything out of that? I don't think we can, can we? One... What the fuck? Hmm, maybe there's a way for us to connect. Hmm... Let's try... Adana's knowledge. Nemesis and Mentor, this, your eye, once studied every tongue. 
grant me access to my sister's words. Well, did it work? Yes! I can understand you perfectly fine now. It worries me that you don't know the tongue of the nebula. It is the only way to access true knowledge and power. Okay, one. <clears throat> uh, yes. It's extremely hard for human witches to master, but it's a skill I want to acquire eventually. Very well. Where was I? Oh, yes. I have the power to destroy your party. Alright, here we go. I don't know if you are familiar with my arts. I have the ability to sabotage anything. There's a path to decay in everything. Be it a planet, a community, or an idea. I can read those lines and steer anything in that direction. And what's the purpose of coming to say all this to my face? The best. The best prospect for our coven is to have a powerful oracle at the helm. That's why you are my favorite candidate. Okay, one, okay. Good to know. You have a funny way of showing support, though. I need to, er to ascertain that you have what it takes to lead. What do you propose? I'm going to offer you the opportunity to sabotage your rival's efforts. I have already studied them and know how to suffocate their momentum. Just say the word, and they are done. Hmm. But should you reject my offer, I will go to your rivals and offer this very same deal to them. Oh, nice, okay. Don't answer me yet. This is a test, after all. So I want you to take your time and ponder how you will act in this scenario. So, let's see if I've understood you. You are threatening to destroy us if we don't choose to destroy our opponents. I believe it's a bit more nuanced than this. Your rivals may reject the offer too. Do you trust your sisters to play as fair as you will? I see. So, do you get off on this kind of stuff, or what's the deal with you? <laughs> okay, give it some thought. I'm not bluffing. Oh, I'm not saying you are one, I'm just... <laughs> okay. I need to try transforming our coven to assess if it can stand the test of entropy. Hmm, okay. Take your time. Summon me when you are ready to make a choice. Do not choose and I will make the choice for you. Oh, one, what the fuck? The fuck? And now she's just leaving. Well, anyways, the game is saved. What a fucking traumatic end to this. Wait, let me let me just real quick check. We've now got a th another third one over here. Who, who are you? Come on, get over here. Hello. You are... Oh, the, the Cosmic Poet. Okay, so for our next episode, we've got these three besties on our window. We've just been traumatized by the choice. Wait, I actually need to write this down. The choice to fucking destroy one of our opponents. Okay, so we've got the choice to destroy our deponent... Uh, deponents, the fuck. Our opponents or be destroyed by our opponents or just choose not to do anything and hope that they won't destroy me. I will love love like love and capital letters love to hear your opinion on that one listen junracia she's a little bitch don't know what we'll do about her but one also the last one like if you don't make a choice i'll make it for you girl if i die in this game it's because of her if i die in this game it's because of her so please the, for the love of god give me your input on what the frig is going on over here and i will try and use it in our next decision making so please for the love of god comment down below what i should do i'm kind of leaning towards not doing anything because i trust my besties and capressa also said she doesn't basically give a fuck so let's see <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, well, but with that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this little episode. Hope you enjoyed my little card and all of the decisions that we've made so far. And with that being said, I really hope that I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, I suggest you guys stay spooky, people. Uh, goodbye!